Buying a Mac computer doesn't mean you have to get an Apple keyboard. Many modern keyboards are fully compatible with Mac OS and could offer superior performance or be better suited for your needs and preferences. But with all the choices out there, finding the best one can be a bit tricky. In this video, we're breaking down the best three keyboards for Mac on the market this year based on price, performance, features and situations they'll be used in. We'll be taking a look at keyboards for Mac in every price range, so whether you're looking for the best overall Mac keyboard or the best budget model, we'll have an option for you. If you're interested in finding out which keyboard for Mac will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned today will be in the description below. For the most up-to-date information, along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products featured in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. We'll start by looking at the Apple Magic Keyboard, which is our top choice for a compact Mac keyboard, currently available for around $94. The sleek looking Apple Magic Keyboard follows the same high end aesthetic of Mac computers and its minimalist wireless build is ideal for a clean looking setup even where desktop space is limited. For your information, this keyboard measures 10.98 inches by 4.52 inches whilst it only weighs a light 0.5 pounds. As you would expect, it fits well into the Apple ecosystem so you can also pair it with any Apple device quickly like an iPad, iMac, MacBook or iPhone using Bluetooth. Moving on, the keyboard comes with a proprietary lightning to USB charging cable which is used for easily charging the keyboard. Apple reports the rechargeable battery lasts for up to a month between charges which we found about right in our testing. The keyboard has a lightweight aluminium chassis with white keys and an angled design which is ergonomic and comfortable. The typing experience of the Magic Keyboard doesn't disappoint. It has a similar typing experience to Apple's laptops which are very easy to type on and has a low key travel. The keys are responsive and provide a satisfying tactile feedback to let you know when a key has been actuated. This makes it comfortable whether doing work or posting on social media plus they're quiet enough for an open office environment. One thing we liked is that the keys are well spaced which is great for typing accuracy whilst also being very stable and they don't wobble at all. The only downside is that this keyboard doesn't have any backlighting which could be an issue for night workers or people who operate in a dark room. Overall this is the go to keyboard if you want a keyboard out of the Apple stable that's perfect to fit even on small desks and provides reliable wireless performance out of the box. Next we'll be taking a look at the Logitech Ergo K860 wireless keyboard which is our top choice for an office Mac keyboard currently available for around $130. Logitech has a heritage of making super comfortable office products like the MX Ergo which supports a design to help reduce muscle fatigue when you're scrolling your way through your workday. Now some of those features are coming to a keyboard with the Logitech Ergo K860. The keyboard comes with a fixed wrist rest and has negative incline settings which are designed to relieve stress on your wrist whilst typing. Instead of laying flat on your desk like standard keyboards, the Logitech K860 has a slight bit of elevation and a curve to it on both its front and back ends, which Logitech calls a split curved keyframe. The design of the wrist support is made from three layers of material, which includes a high density foam, memory foam and an easy clean coated fabric, adding to the overall comfort of the keyboard and its ergonomics. Moving on, the keyboard is made entirely of plastic with a metal plate under the top layer to support it. Despite the plastic build, this keyboard is both solid and comfortable. It should be noted that this keyboard can connect to any Apple product using Bluetooth. The travel is similar to that found on a MacBook Pro, with switches that are like rubber domes under each keycap rather than mechanical. That said, we found that they were comfortable to type on even during longer work patterns. Aside from a single power button slider at the top, there's no extra cables or unnecessary switches with this keyboard, so it's very robust. It's worth noting this keyboard has multi-device pairing with up to three devices and media hotkeys too. The typing noise on this keyboard is kept to a minimum, so you won't annoy people around you like you may do with mechanical keyboards for instance. Whilst it can take some time to get used to the key layout, it's very efficient once you get accustomed to it. Overall, if you're looking for a partner for your Mac that helps alleviate strains from typing for hours, this is the best keyboard for you and one we recommend you check out. Lastly, we'll be looking at the SteelSeries Apex Pro, which is our top choice for a gaming keyboard for Mac, currently available for around $200. The SteelSeries Apex Pro is an excellent keyboard for gamers using Mac, but it's quite versatile too. It should be noted that this can connect to any Apple product that has USB support. 
it has a unique actuation force setting that lets you change the amount of pre-travel distance and actuation force needed to input a keystroke, which we really liked. This means you can lower it for a more responsive experience in games, or you can raise it up to reduce the number of typos and accidental keystrokes when typing text for work. This quiet mechanical keyboard is very well built and features dedicated media keys and comes with a nice magnetic wrist rest. One thing to note is that the keyboard also boasts RGB which can be customised to suit your setup. The Apex Pro features a black steel chassis with a low profile appearance that elevates the keys whilst it measures 17.2 by 5.3 inches which actually puts it on the smaller side as full size gaming keyboards go which is perfect if you have a smaller desktop. Steel series includes a magnetic wrist pad that can be attached to the front of the Apex Pro, whilst there are runners underneath the keyboard to allow you to route the connecting USB cable. The downsides are the lack of hotkeys and that the wrist pad does tend to collect dust. On the top right of the keyboard is a small OLED display and accompanying wheel where it's possible to alter a whole host of settings including lighting and actuation plus load up your favourite websites rapidly. As for gaming, it's clearly designed with LAN events in mind. It lets you load profiles and switch them on the fly with virtually no delay between switching even if there's a difference in the key actuation points. Overall, if you want to game on your Mac and also to be able to use a keyboard for working then the Apex Pro is the ideal choice for you. It's not the cheapest keyboard around but the build quality and features more than make up for it. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you found this video helpful, please subscribe to support the channel. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best tech products on the market right now. So if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Finally, be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up to date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.